Two main reasons why nails look like this. The first one is fungus, which most people know. The second one is trauma to the nail. So our patient um, was a very active, or maybe still is, a very active basketball player. And it's common in athletes to get their toes stepped on. Hey guys, Dr. Hurlis here. Um, coming at you with a nail trim here. Our patient has had some pain in his big toes because um, over time his toenails have, instead of growing out, have started to grow up. Um, so you can see us, we're gonna take these down and get them filed nice and thin to the tips of this one and this one. That way they're no longer painful in his shoes. So um, we're gonna start with our nail nippers here and try to get off as much as we can from this side. And this can happen for a couple of reasons. We explained this to our patient before, but two main reasons why nails look like this. The first one is fungus, which most people know. The second one is trauma to the nail. So our patient um, was a very active, or maybe still is, a very active basketball player, and it's common in athletes to get their toes stepped on. The body's response to that is building up really thick layers of your nail. And once that trauma happens, it can also predispose you to getting a fungus. So we're gonna help him out and get him some relief when he's in his shoes here. Get these little pieces of skin out because that can also be uncomfortable. You doing okay up there, my friend? Yes. All right. These little, um, this is, can be pieces off of his nail that kind of stick down in the corners as well. So in order to get all this relieved, we have to get this skin out. go across and do the rest of these for him. <laughs> it's okay. And we're kind of cutting across. We take small bites at a time because if you take just a big chunk, it can be uncomfortable for the patient. So we just sort of Take little tiny bites and then we'll file these all down. Okay. And you can see on this side, we already cut them before the video started, but I'm also gonna take the Dremel and get some really good file out of all of these. So we have a little tool here. Don't try this at home. We're going from the top and getting that thickness off because most times that's what um, causes the pain when they're in shoes. When nails build up and are so thick like this, it presses on the nail bed. That might tickle a little, sorry. <laughs> it's a funny sensation. You doing okay? Yeah. What most people don't know about this is this can actually cause infection in your toes. So when your nail becomes so thick and presses down so much on the nail bed, it can cause like an opening or an ulceration underneath of it. So it's important that we keep it thinned out like this that way, and that's probably why it's hurting you, and that way it doesn't develop a wound or anything like that. You're gonna be ready to go play basketball after this. And our patient also related that it was starting to kind of make his shoes stick out at certain points, so. Okay. And actually our patient was one of the few who's seen this on YouTube before, so he was hoping this is what we would do for his nails. <laughs> What's your favorite YouTube channel right now? Uh, right now it's this and 
Pimples. You like the, the Dr. Pimple Popper? Yeah, I like the pimple thing because so I have a lot of pimples in my ears. And, uh, okay. And I, you like to watch that stuff? Yeah, I like my foot problem. Yeah. The one that they had, it, it, was, it had water in it. So okay. Nice. Yeah, those are nice. That way they don't, it doesn't make so much dust. Right. But don't worry, we'll get you all cleaned up afterwards. Okay. Is that hurting at all or just tickling? Okay, no, all right, all right. There's a little piece I want to get out of there, then I'll get you all cleaned up. Just getting more of this skin. Sometimes after you file them down, you can see more of kind of what's underneath of it too. So you have to do a little extra cleanup in order to get the maximum relief. Okay. And the stuff that you say you're gonna give me the nail softener, yep. that would really it will. help a lot. Too. It will, yep. We just want you to put that on at night before bed. So we're just getting a little alcohol on here to clean off his toes and his foot. That you're going to to use. Yep, and we'll send you in a an antifungal as well to to that a pharmacy that will send it to you. Okay. I promise. You, I, I, <laughs> we'll wipe some of it off for you. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure your feet weren't dry when you right, left. That's right. <laughs> All good. That can help me. Yep, that's right. That's right. And your foot health is very important. Heck yeah. Okay. I can actually see the color in my nails. Damn, you know, first it was so dark I couldn't even see the blood flowing in <laughs> <laughs> so you're all set <laughs> thanks for watching everybody um and we are glad we could help this patient out today make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel like the page and ring the bell for notifications mm -hmm.